Did you hear? Cutlery Lover is selling all of his knives. You mean the guy who eats hot sauce and cinnamon? Yes. No way. That is impossible. He is Cutlery Lover. Why? Why is he selling? He says that he wants half of the money to go to paying bills and the other half will go to charity. But, that is crazy. He loves knives. I know, I know. It is totally insane. What will he do without knives? He will regret this. It will most likely make him die prematurely, and his hair might fall out. He'll probably get a fungus. He is part knife. Have you ever noticed that he never shows his back? That is because I think he has a lock on his back. You mean a lock back? Yes. Wow, I never noticed that. What will Jeff do with his life now? I don't know. Maybe he will still work at the post office. Maybe, but without sharps, it won't be the same. How will he open boxes? I don't know. I'm truly stumped. He can't work in a post office if he cannot open boxes. This is heartbreaking. I think I'm having an out-of-body experience. Dude, you are. You are peeing in your pants. Well, you know, Jeff has many hobbies. He will probably come up with something else. Yes, you are right. Maybe French perfume bottles. Yes, but they are not sharp. But they are, if you drop them. Hey man, I think you are onto something. Maybe, just maybe, he can review broken shards of glass from the French perfume bottles? Brilliant. You know what else? What? Cans. Or actually, the lids from cans. Yes, cans. Cans have sharp edges. Tuna cans, coffee cans, all kinds of cans. Perfect. He can review different types of lids from cans. You are effing brilliant. Also, I once got cut from a piece of paper. I see where you are going with this. Paper. Perfect. Jeff can review different types of paper, their dimensions, their structural makeup, their ability to be cancelled, how they open, their paper cut capability, their ability to hold ink, their smear factors, and their ability to hold a fold. My god man, I am beginning to feel better. Me too. Well, we better contact Jeff. He needs to know that there are now other options. We need to put his mind at ease. We need to tell him about paper reviewing, before somebody else gets the idea. Right. I think that he should start with, write in the rain paper. That paper has a definite wow factor. Okay my friend. I will try to contact Jeff. Now, I can truly rest easy. No more nightmares. And to paraphrase what Jeff always says at the end of his videos, I will now enjoy the rest of my day. Ditto my friend, ditto. Take care. I think we just dodged a bullet. Yes, indeed.